guys, what's up? This is Loki with Niflheim Gaming, bringing another episode of our Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and tonight I have a guest with me. Hello! I'm Swordfish with Niflheim Gaming. Uh, just gonna be sitting in, doing some commentary while Loki plays. And uh, just to start off, I'd like to kind of ask a question. I'm not too familiar with Final Fantasy VII lore. Okay. So I'm just... I'm curious what that guy in the corner is doing because after three shakes, it's really, <laughs> it's really not appropriate. Well, <laughs> wow, you really, you really, hey, <laughs> hey, guy, <laughs> didn't see you there. What the hell are you doing? Fall <laughs> out, jeez, guy trying to publicly masturbate out here. Came to see it too. I hear there was a terrorist attack above. Makes you think. If this tower ever came down, the slums would be dust. No use worrying about it. I've got to get back to masturbating. <laughs> what are we looking at? Oh hell, I wasn't as far along as I thought. Uh, I told you before we started recording. Yeah. I just came back to Sector 7 after the mission. So we've cleared the tutorial, basically. Yeah. Now we're here. We have this really nice tower that could destroy your town. This place is kind of special to me. How the hell did he get in front of me? Man... <laughs> That's the problem. You were distracted staring at that tower. He stole all your gill. It looks like he's trying to show another tower. Yeah, hey. Is he inviting you to his place? <laughs> it's my place, but come whenever, you know? We're real loosey-goosey around here. Got Barrett running around. God, it's been years since I've played this game. <laughs> I still remember the first time you played it over at my house. What the hell? Did you see that NPC doing a rockhead routine? <laughs> <laughs> His leg was just completely glitching in and out of frame. That was beautiful. <laughs> now he's having a dance party in the back. <laughs> Alright, go on. So... Oh. Part of what gave me the idea to do this Let's Play mm -hmm. was uh, watching Team Four Stars Machina Bridged of it. Machinima Bridged? Uh-huh, that is so good. I love I love watching Let's Plays with those guys. It makes me want to go out and like grab a game really fast. <laughs> Especially since a lot of these I own. I don't do women's voices, so this is going to be great. <laughs> well, if it's in little Marlene, aren't you going to say hello to Cloud? Welcome back, Cloud. Looks like the mission went well. I sound the exact same as Tifa. <laughs> now, I watched the first part of this. I don't think you kept her cool. <laughs> I don't... Only because I, I didn't want... realize I had to rescue that second son of a bitch. Yeah. That, that, there was no chill in any of that. <laughs> well, I like it because of the higher difficulty. Mm-hmm. But having to rescue the second dude and not knowing that... <laughs> yeah, that that's... That's a little bit of a difficulty curve, having to <laughs> run back and get... Some mysterious unknown ally <laughs> that was totally here the whole time. But if someone gave you a flower... Oh, I get it. It's not... You're going to give her the flower. How oh, cool. I really considered doing the date with Barrett. Mm-hmm. But... That was going to be my question is, uh, who are you going on the the date with uh, 
that involves a lot of pre-planning if you're not doing one of the main two. Yeah. For all of you that don't know, there's a there's a location later in the game called the Golden Saucer that you can uh you can take one of four characters out on a date on depending on your little moral choices like giving the flower and such. But now we're going to start a meeting by playing pinball. <laughs> Wait, what happened to my pinball machine? Jesse, you've been messing with my machine again. <laughs> How about I lean over the bar some more? 90s polygons. <laughs> Yeah, this was actually one of the first things we did as friends, was I sat around and watched you play Final Fantasy VII. And then, uh, you, and then you decided you wanted to play it, and that gave us some of the funniest character dates that we're not going to put on our YouTube channel, because I don't want YouTube to pull our AdSense off of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and after what happened to PewDiePie, I think they might for the, some of the stuff we had going. We were 14, and in all fairness... Cloud is blonde haired and blue eyed. Um, <laughs> it's very funny. Very immature, very funny. But Tifa doesn't agree. <laughs> Fuck Tifa. That's why we're not taking her on a date. Gonna get our money from Barrett. Don't worry, once I've been paid, I'm gone. So, Tifa knows Cloud from, like, when he was a kid. Yeah. And Tifa hangs out with all... Did she, like, set Cloud up on this mission? Is that what's happened here? Uh, according to the official lore, she does. Okay. Because Cause... she found him at the train station in Sector 7. Mm-hmm. Uh, right after the events with Zack, when Zack got killed, and he finally... And Cloud finally gets to Midgar. Mm-hmm. Uh, she finds him and kind of recruits him and sets him up. The game actually starts, like, basically immediately after Crisis Core ends. Okay. Sin! You're all <laughs> going to hell! This is the 5 o'clock news! And this just in, you're all masturbators! Someone's <laughs> been standing outside the tower stroking the shafts! We're on to you fornicators! You're going to hell! Yes, you little girl! I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just weird that the TV is blaring sin at them. <laughs> well, some neckbeard just stares judgmentally. Well, I'm not oh, complaining. The thing, I'm not complaining. The thing I laugh at is uh, updated textures for basically everything else, and you still have like a little Lego person sitting there on the news. Yeah. <laughs> it, it puts a frame of reference, honestly. So, you know, that's just... Look, I'm <laughs> going to stop you whether you're whether this table's in the way or not. <laughs> <laughs> Throw you out of frame, boy! Maybe all them guys in sh Soldier are, but don't forget... Your ass belongs to Avalanche now. Don't get out no ideas about si siding with Shinra. Siding with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going to back up. I want to talk about my money. Can we pause for a second and just talk about the impossible angle that Cloud's standing at there? Yeah, let's do <laughs> Look, they needed a way to make him kind of eye-to-eye -eye with Barrett. Is my is my <laughs> idea there. And then also that table helps fudge any mistakes that they're making. <laughs> Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses Shinra. Shut up! I don't! I don't give a damn about Shinra, soldier, nothing. 
I don't like them. You know, don't get me wrong. I don't care about the planet or avalanche, for that matter. Wonder if anybody just walks into that bar and wonder why there's a big hole in the floor. <laughs> like, that's a really inconvenient method to get to your secret base. It really is, though. Like, that's... anytime somebody needs to leave, do you have to give a signal to make sure that nobody's just sitting there having a drink when your pinball machine disappears? <laughs> that's why I ended up laughing so hard at the abridged version. And Cloud's like, you guys know anybody that wants to play a game of pinball can get in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least we know Avalanche is based in Texas based off the neon sign. <laughs> I've never noticed that sign before. Yeah, good old homestead advantage. Here we go. <laughs> Cloud and them are fighting right outside of Dallas. It's great. Go and walk out on your childhood friend. What? <laughs> and you forgot the promise. There's a promise to a childhood friend? <laughs> this is so anime. <laughs> 90s anime at that. This is so cliched. <laughs> it was seven years ago. Remember when we had that cutscene, Cloud? Seven years ago? At the village water tower! There were polygons everywhere! <laughs> Back then. Back when we were poorly modeled. <laughs> but we were cutting edge for the time. You know, they really should have left the old models in this mod. Yeah. Just for that. Just for any, like, flashback. <laughs> Show the passage of time how much we've grown and become smooth. And good lord, Tifa, what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> You're like ten. I know, she used to wear, like, a light blue sundress. <laughs> okay. They got her out for her water tower <laughs> evening wear. <laughs> I mean, if you want to tell somebody something, come this spring, I'm leaving this village for Midgar. Also, is it not drafty in that dress? <laughs> All the boys are leaving, aren't they? I'm different from the rest. I'm not after any old job, and I'm the best guitarist in this town. <laughs> I want to join Soldier. What the hell kind of pose is that he's doing? <laughs> All I can think is like old cliche karate pose. Well, it, it makes... <laughs> it immediately makes me not take him serious. <laughs> like, ten years, I hope you've got your point pose game on point. <laughs> Sephiroth knows how to pose. Well, that's why he's the best. The Great Sephiroth. <laughs> Alright, I guess I don't need help down from this water tower. You know, the ladder fell earlier. <laughs> Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I won't be able to come back to the village for a while, because that was an answer to the question you had. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, something I found out, like, looking through some old interviews from, like, the designers of this game and stuff. Mm -hmm. The designers actually wanted to have some fourth wall breaks, like, uh, Big Wedge and Jesse. Mm -hmm. They wanted to have them try to, all three, run into each other to meld into one person like the party does all the time. And have mm -hmm. them bounce off of each other and wonder why it won't work for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that'd have been nice, but life, realism, <laughs> you already have like 30 years worth of gameplay, there's no need to add anything else. <laughs> Can you imagine how long that, re that remake that they're putting out is going to be? 
I know. My poor hard drive. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, it's supposed to be out in episodes. Oh god, Square Enix just keeps on with this episodic format. I just got the the Hitman game that came out last year. Mm -hmm. That game is so yeah. fun. The game is so fun, and it's that's something that lends itself to episodes. I don't think an RPG works that way, though. I don't really either. I can kind of see why they're doing it with the remake of 7, because like you said, it's going to be a huge game. Yeah. That'll be interesting to see, I guess. I'm surprised they ever actually decided to remake it. <laughs> I even go and wait out the pinball. <laughs> Damn pinball machine going too slow. Keep saying tilt or some shit. I'm going to climb up this bar with my gun hand. <laughs> a promise is a promise. You know, it's weird to me having just watched that, uh, that cutscene. It really feels like Tifa forced that promise onto Cloud. Yeah. And then she's like pro forcing him to keep it. Like, move on, girl. Go find a drink to serve somewhere. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Listen, I'm going to make him promise to do some stuff. And the rest is for Marlene schooling. Yeah, you don't haggle after you <laughs> give the amount. At that point, it's really too late. <laughs> Alright. I know exactly where to run to real quick, because we need to save. We can get this episode going and get some stuff published again. Oh, Alright. I have to talk to... Damn it. Mako Reactor number five. Wasn't that the song that was the hit in the 90s? <laughs> Are we having a Lou Vega cameo? Because I'm into this. <laughs> this is the perfect time to change the soundtrack if we can mod that. Uh, Mako, technically Mako we, number five. Technically we can. I just don't have the know-how to code this stuff. In my head, it's playing Mako number five. <laughs> Who the hell leaves a little kid in charge of a bar? Look, it happens. When you grow up, you know how to serve a drink. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Plus, the slums really doesn't seem like uh, the most scrupulous place to have to worry about a kid serving you a shot. What? <coughs> Come back, save point! <laughs> Alright, guys. Sorry for the delay. We were trying to work out a schedule where we could get together because Swordfish wanted to be with it. Thought it'd be fun, and I agree. It's always fun to have him around. Thank you for sitting with us, and we'll catch you next time, guys.